Okay, so this is the first video on probability, and probability is usually a very big part of state tests. Um, I know in New York State it's actually going to be 30% of the 7th grade state test, um, and I think it's pretty much the same for um, the grades above and below as well. Um, so in this video we're just going to look very briefly at introducing probability um, especially with regard to the language of chance as well. So basically like uh, probability is um, something that enables us to pretty much look into the future. It allows us to make predictions and so these predictions could um, basically allow us to know that there is a chance of something good happening if we do something or a chance of something bad happening um, so looking at different variables we can basically see that if it's raining there are likely to be X number of car accidents on a road on a particular day so it allows people to to plan and it allows um, cities and governments to plan for emergency responses, heat waves, number of snow trucks to be on the ground, and uh, a whole bunch of other things as well. Probabilities used in, in gambling, um, sports events, and you know a whole bunch of things to do with insurance as well. So let's just take a look at some words that come into probability, so certain. So when you think about what certain means and when you think about events that maybe you've described in the past as something is certain to happen, really what we're talking about is that there's a hundred percent chance, it's a sure thing, it's definitely going to happen. And at the other end of the scale you have things that are impossible. And these impossible things have a 0% chance of happening. So for example, we could say that the probability of you living forever and ever is 0%. And I'm sad to say, but I am certain that one day you will die. Um, so, you know, you can be certain about things that is a 100% chance of happening. Okay. Even some things like the probability of the sun setting and the sun rising tomorrow. Well, you know, some people may argue that, well, there's a small chance that it's not going to happen. It's always happened in the past, but there's a small chance it's not. However, you could argue that it's very likely to happen. Likely. Otherwise, you could argue that the probability of the, uh, the, the weather becoming very snowy, so you're snowed in your house, depending on when you where you live, you could argue that this is very unlikely to happen. So those are the opposites. Now in between them, you basically have something that is equally likely. And you could also call this 50-50. So there's a 50% chance of something that is equally likely happening. But you'll notice that likely covers pretty much the area from above 50%. And unlikely covers the scale that is less than 50%. But there's also a few other words that are useful. Anything that is on this scale, apart from zero, we can say is possible. Okay, so anything that is above zero percent. So we could be talking of something that is zero point zero 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 um, one, all the way up to a hundred percent. And really, we could put a whole bunch more zeros in there as well. But we're talking just above 0% all the way up to 100%. And we call these events 
possible. Now if something's probable, it means that it's very likely. It's probably going to happen. It's probable. And if we talk about something that's improbable, then it means that it's very, very unlikely. So, when you are using probability words in future, try and think, whereabouts on this scale are you? So, if we are looking at the probability of you getting 100% on your next math test, what do you think the word would be? Is it impossible? Is it probable? Is it possible? Well, hopefully it would be possible. Is it certain? Is it equally likely? So those are some of the words that you could think about in this case. When you think about the probability of you winning the lottery, winning the lotto one day, um, any time in your life, is it certain? Well, I don't think so. I think in most places the probability of winning is something like 1 in 14 million. So that to me seems pretty unlikely. Um, but the more you play, the more likely. However, really the chances will always be extremely, extremely small. So we could basically call that um, improbable or very unlikely. And if we think of another event, for example, flipping a coin. And we think of what's the probability of this coming up heads. Then that would basically be um, equally likely. There would be a 50% chance. So it could come up heads, it could come up tails. But if we were looking at the probability of getting a head, 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 head and head out of the first five coin tosses, then this would be very unlikely that you would get heads five times in a row, but it's definitely possible. You can complete the worksheet relating to this topic at mathfolio.com slash ws slash seven dash 82.